Hey folks, James Lott here with War of the Warships. I want to talk about the aircraft carriers today, mainly their third slot for the upgrades. Now for the aircraft carrier, for the most part, your choices you're going to choose from would be Flight Control Modification 2 for a 5% aircraft crew speed, or Air Groups Modification 3 for 15% to attack aircraft health pool. Now, did some testing here because I would really prefer this 5% crew speed to work. And it does, but it's not noticeable is the problem. And you're going to say, well, that 15% health isn't really that noticeable either. But to me, that makes a bigger difference. You know, your planes might be able to get away with a little bit of extra health. Where the speed, you know, these knots are pretty much knots per hour. If I'm guessing right, don't know for the fact. But either way, on the when you're planning, it's not noticeable. And you're going to notice that here when I show you these replays of testing it out. But, you know, you start off with the fighter, base crew speed is 181 knots. You throw on this flight, it's not noticeable. And you're going to notice that here when I show you these replays of testing it out. But, you know, you start off with the fighter, base crew speed is 181 knots. You throw on this flight control modification too, and it still says 181 knots. But don't worry, that's just a visual glitch. Did some testing. And the speed doesn't work. It just doesn't show that your plane's changed speed. Even talked to War Games support because I was thinking it wasn't working at all because I wasn't noticing the speed buff, and I didn't see the numbers changing. Even went as far as reinstalling the game. Maybe it's something on my end. But after I got another midway player to help test it out in training room, you know, we found out it does work. Um, it just wasn't noticeable enough, and you know. That's why I say the air group modification three. I've had to have times where I've had that on and I'd noticed my plane has gotten away from Des Moines. God forbid any C V player that knows when you're within that AA range of the Des Moines and their AA build, your planes are going down. Uh, besides that, let's go over these replays are fast and you know I'll sh show you what I mean by you will end up noticing that there's a slight buff in that speed. Alright, we're just testing out here. Lining up our planes. I'm gonna try to do a little race. Let's see if we notice any differences. Ocean map here, so fairly good sized map. You know, doing this race and not really notice anything, but we eventually get there and you know, it looks more like a tie. You know, you, you might be able to slowly notice that my planes are gaining a little bit ahead, but not noticeable. You know, you can put that down to lagging or something like that, the reason why you're getting further ahead. But, so we get there, and, like, okay, that didn't really seem like it showed much, so now we're testing a different one. Lined up our aircraft carriers and took off from our decks. <clears throat> then we flip to this next spot, and... I zoom in here, I'm trying to see if there's a difference, and I can slowly see myself pulling forward. Very slowly here. But that's when I start noticing, okay, there might be a difference here. So we get there, then we line up where basically I'm going to get right behind him, and I'm going to try to chase him down. He had about a one to two second head start here, and I'm chasing him, <clears throat> and chasing him, chasing him. And I feel, you know, I'm getting closer. I, it's starting to be noticeable here that I'm actually starting to gain on them. You know, if this was an enemy plane, you know, I'd strafe them by now because I'm so close, but we're just testing it out here. And for some fact, yes, I do pretty much catch them. So this does work, but the other one's way better for the health. Until next time, guys, have a good day and keep killing ships.